What is going on YouTube? Seth Sanchez here and today I'm going to talk to you about Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail about who he is because I'm going to assume you already know who he is, but in a nutshell he's an ex-MLB baseball player who was uh, very, very good. Uh, he had many, many home runs and uh, basically what's going on in terms of photography, in case you didn't already know this, he is now a professional, quote unquote, professional photographer. Um, if you check this link out right here, on this website, as you can see, uh, the blog from Think Tank Photo, it's been blowing up. It's gotten a bunch of shares and tweets, and it's just been spreading around pretty quickly. And pretty much what's going on is he is now apparently, like I said, a quote-unquote professional photographer. He has uh, gotten a bunch of Nikon camera equipment and a bunch of uh, Think Tank bags, and he's currently uh, working for ESPN. Now, this is a very touchy subject. Uh, there's a lot of uh, hate going on in the bottom where all the comments are. A lot of it's going back and forth pretty much. You've got comments that are saying like, "Wow, there's a bunch of whiners on here who are hating on him." You've got you know people saying on the opposite side that uh, Ken Griffey Jr. is not a professional photographer, and people are arguing what the definition of professional means. You know and Basically, what I'm going to do in this video is just give you my point of view on it. Um, you know, I'm kind of iffy about it. Like, let me just, I'll, I'll just go into it right away. What I think about Ken Griffey Jr. becoming a professional photographer, first off, I don't believe that he's a professional photographer. You know, that definition can be, it's, it's thrown around a lot, and the real definition of it is, you know, it's pretty much, if you are getting paid and you make a living off of it, you are a professional photographer. Now, with Ken Griffey Jr., I mean, the guy's loaded, obviously, with plenty of money, and he's working for ESPN. As far as what he's doing over there for ESPN, I have no idea. But we all know that it, how he got the job over there, he made a couple phone calls, and basically, in a nutshell, is just like, hey, I'm Ken Griffey Jr., my son is on the college football team, I want to get access to it. And then from there, he started shooting... NFL, uh, Green Bay versus uh, Atlanta Falcons, it looks like right here, yep. And, you know, it's it's frustrating for people like, like all the normal photographers out there because, you know, here we are working our asses off to get the gear we need, uh, learning how to use it, building up a portfolio, spending so much of our hard-earned money, you know, on everything. And just to get the access, like, and not only that, if we get the gear and we get the photos in the portfolio that's solid, it doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, does the company need you? No? Okay, well, then you're out of luck. Because you can have solid portfolio and solid gear and know how to, how to do it, but they don't know who you are. You're just a nobody. You're just another photographer in line trying to get the access to these events like NFL and NCAA and, you know, all that stuff. You, you want to get on board with a wire service or daily paper or whatever it may be. Um, and then this guy just comes along and, you know, uses his name and fame to basically just be like, hey, I'm King Griffey Jr. Uh, I want to get on the sideline to shoot stuff, you know. What do I need to do? Oh, you're Ken Griffey Jr.? Oh, here you go. Just, you know, let's just take this three-day Nikon uh, photography course and uh, buy this stuff for, I don't even, for all we know, Nikon could have just sponsored him. I, I don't know if they have or not. I'm not quite sure on that. And just said, Here, well, here's all the camera gear you need. But either way, you know, it's, that's the, that's how I kind of feel about it. It is, it, I understand the photographer's frustration. I, I'm a bit frustrated too because, you know, like I said, we've all spent our hard-earned money on our gear. We've all trying to push to learn how to use it. And then this guy comes along and basically just, you know, gets the gear. And three days later, he's like, oh, boop, I'm going to get the access now. Just like that. No questions asked. They just brought him on board because he's Ken Griffey Jr. You know, so I understand the frustration of the photographers who are, you know, trying to get in. Or even the ones who are already in who, and have been doing this for years. There's people who went down here uh, and commented on this whole article and were basically saying they've been shooting for 
over you know 15 20 years and they're all really frustrated and it's not that they're hating on him you know and actually some of these photographers I was talking to my boss about this over an icon and he knows personally photographers who shot Ken Griffey Jr. while he was playing uh, baseball and uh, basically he was he would threaten photographers that would photograph him during batting practice and you know I think some people mentioned that in the comments below it's not made up that's that actually happened um, I never saw it but this is what my boss told me and I my boss is not gonna lie to me I know I know him very well and you know I, I just randomly brought it up to him and asked what he thought about it and he basically said the same thing you know he's not a photographer he's just a guy with a camera and got the access because he's Ken Griffey Jr. so you know, that's, it's, that's kind of how I feel about it, but in a little bit of me, you know, I'm not the type of person that likes to hate on somebody, you know, and not, people on here are not hating on him. They're frustrated because, like I said earlier, for the reasons that I gave you, but in one way, you know, maybe he does want to be a photographer, maybe he's, you know, interested in doing it, and he worked his way up to get to MLB level and to, you know, he worked really hard to you know, be, you know, become famous and talented for when he was playing baseball and he worked his way up like how we do with photography. Um, and you know, after he was done, he possibly decided he wanted to do photography and for all we know, he could actually want to, you know, take this further and, you know, pursue it or that's one side of it. But the other side is he could just be, you know, just doing it just to get the access and, taunt the photographers that he really didn't like in the first place because, you know, it's kind of disrespectful what he's been doing with, like, the NFL game. Uh, I was told that he didn't even wear uh, the photo vest that they provide you, and if any other photographer would do that, if they did not wear the vest, you'd be kicked out. You might get a warning, but after that, if you didn't do it, you didn't put it back on, you would get kicked out. So it's, it's a very touchy subject. I'm kind of more on the side of it's frustrating for us photographers our actual photographers who are you know working our asses off and trying to get in and if we even if we have gotten in you know we're still working our way up to become staff or whatever it may be but then this guy just waltzes along and then ESPN's paying him for assignments it's very frustrating you know you know when it comes to fame and stuff like that I mean people get you know the access because you know their name actually means something to someone and that is frustrating because if we did the same thing we contact ESPN and like hey you know, I'm Seth Sanchez, I'm a, you know, professional sports photographer, uh, I, I want to get access and uh, work for you, can you pay me, pretty much, be like, who the hell are you, no, get out of here, like, they wouldn't even respond, and if they did, they'd basically say that, They'd be like, who are you, I don't know who you are, like, what do you, no, it doesn't work that way, and, you know, that's pretty much it, I'm trying to see if there's anything else on here that I can talk about, but I mean, like I said, I'm not the type of person that likes to put hate towards somebody at all or dislike somebody. Um, it is, like I said, though, it is a bit frustrating, and I understand the photographer side of it. But you know, maybe he's honestly wanting to do photography, but you know, he has the access to it and gets the access and a lot easier than we do. Uh, but you know, I, I'm not sure. I mean, that's just my point of view on it. it you can, feel free to put your um, points of view on it too. Give me your opinion. Put it down in the uh, comment section below and let me know what you guys think about it. And if you guys are wondering about his gear lineup, he's got uh, one Nikon, it's all Nikon stuff. He's got D4, D4S, 1424, 28, 2470, 28, 518, 85, 28, tilt shift, 7200, 28, 400, 28, 600F4. That is some serious gear that he's got there. Um, you know, but that is pretty much everything. I'm just scanning these comments to see. You guys can read them yourself, but just go go on Google and just put um, Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, think Tank photo blog, and this will pop up right away. You can see everything yourself, but, you know, there's a lot of people that are on both sides about it, and uh, Think Tank actually apologized for posting the article uh, because one of the photographers that photographed him was talking about uh, how he was and stuff and how, you know, it's ridiculous that, you know, people are doing this. This guy he said, this is ridiculous. He was a horrible... He was horrible to the photographers when he was playing, and now Think Tank is promoting his ridiculous attempt at work, quote-unquote, after a three-day school and reading the manual. Shame on ESPN and Think Tank for promoting his BS. I own about 10 different Think Tank bags, not buying any more after this. What a load of crap. And, you know, that makes sense. Uh, here's another one. Oh, man, that's a big one. Whew. 
Basically, he said, you, you and I and everybody else know that the only reason that ESPN has hired this guy is because of the novelty of his former career. He has no credentials or skills as a photographer and no background other than a three-day Nikon course. Like that right there, it's like, yeah, he only took a three-day Nikon course. Either he bought the Nikon gear or Nikon handed it to him and said, here you go. You know, what better way to promote our business than saying Ken Griffey Jr. shoots Nikon? Um, I don't know how that went. I'm not going to assume. I'm just going to assume. I, I'm not going to you know, say that that's how it happened. It could have gone either way. But, you know, it's it's very frustrating for us. You know, like I said, we're all working really hard here, and here comes this guy and gets the access just like that and not even being, you know, respectful towards the industry of photographers where, you know, we put our vests on, you know, we're there on assignment doing something, and this guy is just almost a waste of space there at those events in a way because we're actually working and really trying to get the shots that we need to get and it's already crowded as it is at those events, especially college ones for football and stuff. It's, it's insane. Um, so, you know, just that's pretty much it. Leave uh, your opinion below and let me know what you guys think about it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, I'll catch you next time.